to fall under the sphere of influence of either the communist Soviet Union or the capitalist Western allies that included Britain, France, and the United States. These included places okay. like Germany and Better Lego City that were carved up into zones of influence between yeah. the four major victorious yeah. powers of the Second World War. Although initially united in their victory over the Third Reich, these four victorious powers would break in their unity after a falling out of politics. The Great really? Twix split of 1920 into left and right Twix had produced two extremely different philosophies regarding the creation of the beloved Pantheon. In time, both of these philosophies would find their footing with each of the emerging post-World War II superpowers that were the United States and the USSR. The deep divisions between left and right twigs would only serve to expedite the collapse in relations between the communists and the capitalists into a hostile and dangerous period known as the Great War. To US President Truman, a right twigs was more than just a candy bar. It represented the deep roots of the American dream, with final cascaded over cookies, with and oranges, and cloaked in chocolate, like the cloak George Washington wore, and cooks the dollar. To Stalin, the Netflix represented the prosperity and communism had brought to the Soviets, with the flowing caramel over cookie demonstrating the overabundance of food that capitalization produced. And the cookie bathed in chocolate, like the Soviets had bathed in the blood of the German invaders. Stalin was further emerged in left Twixism, due to the large financial backing that Twix had provided the Bolsheviks in the early stages of the Russian Revolution. Immediately following the death of Hitler, many of the minions that had been actually defeated by the Soviet Union now recognized Joseph Stalin as the most despicable human on earth. This flattered the Man of Steel, and after pardoning the millions of their war crimes, he began claiming much of the free real estate that was Eastern Europe to his zone of influence. Stalin expected the minions to be a powerful ally in the coming fight against the West, and he stolen from the years of imperialist and fascist mindsets, and made adopting communists extremely hard for the very individualistic minions. To fix this, Stalin ordered the minions to be sent to the Three Lines, which was the local labor camp designed by Stalin's right hand subordinates and the Royal Stalin Guard, and the Royal Robert Caruso. Stalin then looked to export communism as well as left Twixism to the very parts of Western Europe. He began to pervert the hand of the communist revolutionary Westerner in the 1946 Blue Revolution that overthrew the pro Western Soviet Union. This move deeply alarmed the U.S. and it took up a series of news and countries the U.S. and the U.S.S.R. or Red Cross In response to Stalin's advanced action in Smurfville, Truman began flooding Western Europe with cheap and abundant right twix bars, which would make it very difficult for Stalin to spread left Twixism. He also started a TV program called The Truman Show that sought to teach Americans of the dangers of left Twixism. Things came to a head in Berlin, Holy where crap. right Twix bars from the American, French, and British sectors began outcompeting left Twix bars in the Soviet sector. Stalin felt tremendously it. threatened by right Twix's head-to-head -head dominance in the market and began cutting off the supplies from Western Germany to Berlin, trying to force right Twix completely out of the city. However, the Western powers countered the aggressive action with the Berlin airlift which dropped thousands of pounds of right Twix bars into the isolated city every day. Eventually, Stalin relented and removed the embargo of Berlin, but he appointed Bob the Builder to be the head of the East German state-run construction Honestly, company in the hopes that he could improve the outlook on communist governments. Bob the Builder began a campaign called Can We Fix It, which sought to fill the holes with cement in the city so that no one would curse the government. Meanwhile in the US, Senator McCarthy and FBI Director Hoover became increasingly concerned that communist infiltrators in the American federal bureaucracy would bring down their capital system, or even worse, 
dismantle their fried chicken industry. This was absolutely true, as Stalin had successfully infiltrated many American fried chicken startups by 1948 and was in the early stages of developing his highly coveted Molotov cocktail. To combat these fears, President Truman signed Executive Order 9835, which required federal employees to be screened for loyalty to the American nope. government. So this right. task was to be and carried so out right. by the FBI, who from the period of 1946 to 1952 <laughs> would double in size, hiring thousands of new agents to investigate and purge suspected communists from the U.S. government. Among these new hires were the Scooby Gang, who joined the FBI in 1948 and were given the green light to investigate communists through both legal and illegal means by Director J. Edgar Hoover. Scooby-Doo and the gang immediately began investigating thousands of government employees through means of illegal wiretaps, intercepting mail, and sometimes breaking and entering residences to search for clues. In 1950, the Scooby gang produced a list of over 200 suspected communists working in the State Department, which they handed over to Senator Joseph McCarthy. Truman would also work to strengthen the fight against communism abroad, announcing that the U.S. would do everything in their power to keep the world healthy by containing the spread of communism in a medical policy he appropriately named the Truman Doctor Inn. This led to the creation of the defensive alliance known as NATO amongst the Western powers of Europe and North America. But there was one uh, noticeable Western country that refused to join the alliance, oh, and this was the Smurfian people's. A lot of people have this as a like, uh, set of stuff. So, um, dance, die, and the hydro and the I was also dying. Damn, these people love their diamond hydros. Should I go again? I mean, as a boy, it was time. I practically had no outside potions on this. I'll just end the video here.